Today I'm going to tell you exactly why I purchased just shy of 2,000 Bifrost tokens and yes I genuinely believe that this is a 200x opportunity. In fact it's the best I've come across outside of GameFi. But first there's some very important things that I need to cover off. Number one this is high risk, high risk reward play so if that is not for you by all means thanks for clicking and I'll see you in another video. If you're still here, great, because I think you'll get a lot out of this, but I had to cover that off and make that clear because there was something which I will come to shortly that nearly stopped me buying this. And in today's video, I'm actually going to cover off the risk that I found by digging deeper. But because of the risk v reward, I still made a decision to go for it. Number two is, as a result of, this is not a four-figure play. This is a three-figure play. That's my opinion. So let's get that covered off. Thirdly, and also very, very importantly, I cannot take credit for unearthing this gem. And that's why we're looking at Market Mobster's um, YouTube channel. Ash, all-around good guy. If you're not already subscribed, go and subscribe to him. Really know his, his stuff. Been around for ages. Highly recommend him. One of, if not my favourite YouTubers. So that's why it's on here. Um, and I need to give the guy credit because not only did he unearth it, some of the things that he covers in his own video, I will be covering because it makes sense for me to explain to you. But I'm a transparent guy. I'm not going to take credit for, for stuff that's not my own work. And there will be a link to... The correct video and the video i'm talking about is this one here which he did four weeks ago so obviously i'm going to come at it um as a different angle because i've i've been doing some digging on it but nonetheless i want to be transparent on that i'm not trying to tra take credit for somebody else's work but equally this is a a gem series it's a gem it's in your best interest you know about this so as long as he gets credit he's happy i'm happy you're happy everyone's cool so now that's covered off we can get into it so Bifrost is uh, is the token and the circulated supply and to be fair to Ash as he points out in his video is not is not correct it says it's uh, 20 million when really it is 30 as is highlighted, uh, you can see it's gone up because circulating supply has gone up. So that's that's not right. But even so, it's still a small cap, so it's got potential to grow. Obviously, recently it's been on an upswing. That looks colossal, but really it's only from 31 to 33, uh, just pushing. So it's it's not that far, really. So before we get into the nitty gritty, um, you need to know what Bifrost is. Bifrost is a modular, scalable, non-custodial, omni-chain, LSD, parachain built on Polkadot. Jesus, glad I managed to get that out. <laughs> it provides standardized, high-yield, safe and reliable, underlying interest-bearing assets for Web3 through XCM and is realizing the omni-chain vision of any chain using any LSD. Our mission is to provide standardized cross-chain internet bearing derivati derivatives for polka dot relay chains, parachains. You can read that, I'm not even gonna pronounce that. Anyway, you get what it is. It's about liquid staking. So this wasn't around before. This is gonna be a great narrative and I'm gonna explain why in a second. Um, so yeah, it, this is, I, I think it's it's quite exciting. It's It's quite current. God, I sound like someone from Pop Idol. Um, anyway, forgive me. This is their roadmap. As you can see, progress has been made. There's a lot of completed. Some are planned, obviously, still. But at least it's an indicator, which I did like, that, you know, work is going. This is Lido. And the reason I'm showing this is so you can appreciate the size of the actual opportunity I'm presenting today. This is a liquid staking competitor, uh, and there you can see here with Ethereum, <laughs> 20, well, nearly getting on for 21 billion has been staked Ethereum, 
and 118 million in Polygon. Solana used to be, but no longer. So it gives you an idea of the market. So that's the takeaway here, guys. Next, you'll also see that Lido is ranked number 36 and it's got a market cap of 2 billion. Yeah, when you compare that to what Bifrost is, you can see the potential here and this is going to come into play when we're looking at pricing shortly. Now here I am at Bifrost and this is their interface and you can see the kind of rewards that you can get for staking. I mean, some of these are incredible. 18.67% for Polkadot, for example. And the real key benefit for me, anyway, in my opinion, is how easy they make it. All you have to do is hit stake and then connect your wallet as, as far as I can see it. And they cut out a load of the legwork, not legwork, that's not the right word, but jumping through hoops to do it. They've simplified the whole process and you also get great, great rewards in return. So I just thought I'd, I'd explain that bit at least before getting into the bits that also kind of concern me, but equally what made me um, actually press the button to buy this thing, which I'll, I'll show you shortly as well to prove that, you know, I did actually do it. I've got conviction in this. As always, uh, I want to look at the tokenomics. And first I did like that this was locked and there is a breakdown here. You know, where they're, where they're actually going. So I thought all this looked pretty good. However, when I dug a bit deeper elsewhere, there's this data unavailable tokens may be unlocked at any moment. So, and bear in mind that's 48 million tokens, that's 60%. So that is an amber, some may say a red flag in terms of dumping potential. So that was obviously not good news. So I want to be transparent and make you aware of that. I'll conclude shortly as to why I deemed that this was a play I wanted to make uh, despite the risk. But for now, I, I want to show you how I arrived at this being, or should I say, having 200x potential. So we've got BNC here, and we're comparing it to the market cap of Lido, and obviously that comes in at 303. However, however, hold your horses. <laughs> We know that the real market cap is higher than that due to what we showed at the start, as Market Mobster also showed in his video. Please go and check it out. So I think we can take a good chunk off this, which I still think arrives above a 200x in terms of possibility. Um, and if we take it to the all time high, you know, you're at 415. So I think you can see why I was quite excited from a gains perspective. Now, at this point, I was just like, yeah, I'm comfortable. I get the risk involved. I'm not going to invest a lot of money, but I am going to invest in this. And the reason I want to invest in this, and I did do this earlier today, as you'll see, is I need to, I need to increase the overall net X potential of my portfolio. And I, I want this as a, as a play. However, as you'll see in the upcoming clip, I did get a warning from KuCoin, and this actually stopped me from buying it uh, momentarily. Anyway, uh, I actually reached out to Market Mobster um, because they give you a load of reasons, and I thought, is this something dodgy or or not? And uh, transpires that the consensus is that it's just due to low volume. And I was comfortable with that. So you may not be, um, but I really wanted to highlight that before we went any further. Because when you're doing, I don't know, when you're doing a video like this, I, I must admit, I I nearly didn't do this video because I didn't want to put myself in the firing line. But equally, I think you're intelligent people and you can make a decision for yourself. And if I saw the value in it, some of you see the value in it. So therefore, I hope you can appreciate all I'm doing is presenting this to you. And I've highlighted the risk. And I think as a YouTuber, that's the best that I can do. I think I'd be doing you, my audience, albeit small at this moment in time, a disservice if I didn't make you aware of that, which I really hope you can appreciate. So I'll show you the clip and you'll see the little warning come up, but you'll also see that I spent 500 sterling on this today. And yes, it may come down a little bit more or, or it may not, but at the end of the day, 
I don't care when I'm looking at these kind of gains. This is a one-time investment for me. There'll be no DCA in, job done, in, gone. So, but the other thing that helped get me over the line before you actually actually see that clip was the fact that they've actually extended their lease. Um, it looks like they did it a little bit too, um, or it looks like they didn't do it way in advance, but the good news is at least they've extended their lease. So that was kind of the tipping point for me, but I'll let you get on and, and see, see me buy it. Here we go, guys. Uh, this is what I was talking about and we're on BNC percent there we go job done so now you've seen that you you know I've got conviction that as always on this channel I'm always transparent um take you for what it is you may deem that it's it's worth a little money. Uh, please, whatever you do, don't put a lot of money into it. Um, but yeah, it's one of those that really could kind of pay off in my opinion. I think it's, to conclude really, I think it's in a uh, exciting, forward-thinking market. I think it's got lots and lots of potential, but undoubtedly there are, of course, risk as there is with any cryptocurrency. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful and I shall see you again tomorrow.